Hi everyone, it's David here. I hope you're feeling good. Um, thank you for coming back to the channel. Uh, so yeah, Osaka is out of its uh, state of emergency finally, so that's good news. But we're not out of rainy season yet. Um, I say that as the sun comes out. But it's a pretty rainy, humid day in Osaka, so I thought I'd do something inside. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that Nara video last week, so please check that out if you haven't already. But uh, with the Tokyo Olympics coming, that's starting in about three weeks, um, I thought it's a good time to introduce Japan in a bit more detail to you. Not only Tokyo, but every single prefecture. So I'm going to do kind of marathon <laughs> my own making. Uh, I'm going to talk about every prefecture, give you a little information about each place, um, kind of population size, uh, flags, and some famous points too. Uh, so I hope that's interesting for everyone. Uh, this is not the only interesting thing about each prefecture, so please don't get angry if I <laughs> didn't say everything your place is famous for. And uh, I'm not commenting on any ongoing border disputes or uh, territorial <laughs> claims, so please don't come at me with your, uh, with your comments. But uh, please make a comment, happy one please. Uh, of course I can do a bit more deep dive if you want to later on. But for now, let's just give it a go. Uh, yeah, I'm only doing 15 minutes if I can, so this is going to be a very quick tour. Uh, I'll show you a few pictures. Hopefully you'll learn something interesting about Japan. Hmm. So before I start, please remember, please like this video if you can. Well, you can, so please do it. <laughs> and uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. That really it's going to help me so much. And please make a comment on my uh, YouTube, uh, this video or any other video that helps YouTube notice me. So please, YouTube, please notice me. Ah. Okay, so that's enough from me. I'm going to start now, so let's enjoy it. Yeah. Okay, let's start with uh, a bit of information about Japan. Uh, of course, it's a big island country. Not that big, so number 62 in the world, but a big population. Uh, just fell out of the top 10 because our aging population is shrinking. Um, capital Tokyo, and uh, we have 47 prefectures to get through today. Um, Size-wise, it's, uh, like I said, it's about 1.6 times the size of the UK, so a bit bigger, uh, which is about the same size as Germany or California. It has the third biggest economy by GDP, um, so it's one of the big ones. And there are four main islands. We've got uh, Hokkaido in the north, the big one Honshu in the middle, and uh, Kyushu, the big one on the end, and uh, Shikoku in the middle, kind of underneath. Okay, so let's keep going. So let's start with uh, Hokkaido. This is not a normal prefecture, this is, you can see Hokkaido, which means it's a kind of special territory. Uh, it's the biggest prefecture in Japan, uh, capital Sapporo, and it's famous for a lot of food. So uh, milk, ice cream, cheese, uh, lamb for Genghis Khan, that's a kind of popular food, and potatoes, we love potatoes in Japan. And the snow festival they have in Sapporo every week, every week, every year. Um, <laughs> so you can see a big sculpture there. And one of the famous night views in Hakodate, which is uh, one of the top three in the, in the country. Okay. So next, move on to uh, Tohoku region, which is the kind of northern, northwest Japan. Starting with Aomori Prefecture, uh, which is uh, the most northerly one. It's famous for apples and it's very kind of uh, foresty prefecture. And Nebata Festival, which is one of the big three uh, Tohoku festivals in summer, which I really want to see, but I haven't seen yet. Next, uh, Iwate Prefecture. Um, it's yeah, the second biggest in the country, uh, capital Morioka. Um, there's not a, it's a kind of very open, kind of open country. It's famous for uh, its World Heritage Site uh, Chusonji Golden Temple, which you can see in the picture, and Wankosoba Noodles. Please don't worry about the name. Uh, it's all very clean fun. Okay, then Miyagi Prefecture uh, has one of the top three uh, views in Japan, which is Matsushima, kind of a set of islands um, out in Matsushima Bay. And uh, famous for uh, beef tongue, which is uh, pretty, quite nice actually, so please try it if you come, especially in Sendai, which is the biggest city in Tohoku Prefecture, the Tohoku area, sorry. Then, okay, uh, Akita Prefecture. Uh, you know Akita dogs, Akita breed dogs, they're very cute and uh, so. That's where they come from, Akita Prefecture. And uh, Akita Kanto Matsuri, which is where they hold these big lanterns, big poles with lanterns on them. Really impressive. Uh, that's another one of the big three uh, for summer festivals. And we've got Yamagata Prefecture. Um, a lot of national parks there. 
a uh, big producer of cherries and pears and they've got a few nice onsen there nice hot springs uh, which you can see I think that's Ginzan onsen so please visit there I really want to go there I haven't been there yet so okay Fukushima prefecture another big rural and uh, big prefecture as well uh, famous has got a lot of it's got a few active volcanoes I think Mount Bandai is one of them and some big lakes as well so very kind of beautiful scenery of course you might have heard Fukushima for bad reasons which is the uh, 2011 uh, earthquake and tsunami uh, so they're still recovering from that uh, so please support Fukushima if you have a chance okay let's move south to Kanto region this is the the biggest region by population uh, not by size though and that houses Tokyo the nation's capital and Kanto region if you play Pokemon you might know this one um, that's where uh, well, that's what Kanto region <laughs> is based on in Pokemon okay let's start with uh, Ibaraki prefecture uh, it's uh, if you're interested in Aikido this is where uh, that's kind of a central location for Aikido and it's a big producer of natto the kind of smelly fermented soybeans so please try those if you have a chance they're very healthy but they yeah very smelly uh, Tochigi prefecture is uh, kind of in the north of Kanto the most famous place here is the uh, Nikko Nikko city which has the Nikko Toshogu which is a kind of mausoleum for uh, kind of big uh, shogun families from the past uh, Tokugawa I think that's right and um, also a big national park Kekon Falls which is the largest uh, or highest one drop uh, waterfall in Japan and a nice national park there too uh, Gunma Prefecture is famous for its hot springs. You can see Kusatsu hot, spring, hot springs in the middle there, the, pre, um, the picture. Can't talk today. And apparently it has some things called Melody Roads, which uh, when you drive over them, plays a little song. <laughs> I don't know how that works, but uh, if you want to try them out, go to Gunma Prefecture. Uh, next is Saitama Prefecture. This is the uh, core for Tokyo um, commuter belt. So a lot of people go there I live there and then come to Tokyo every morning for, uh, for working. Uh, there's a few interesting places. There's a bonsai village and a giant railway museum there too. A lot of people say there's not much to see in Taitama Prefecture, but there's, there's stuff to see everywhere, so please, uh, please visit. And uh, Chiba Prefecture. Uh, this is most famous for Tokyo Disneyland. <laughs> there are a lot of national parks there too. Of course, Tokyo Disney and their famous uh, mascot, Funashi. You can see that little kind of pear spirit. He's a very uh, high energy guy, so please, uh, please go meet him. Uh, Tokyo Prefecture as well. Um, Tokyo is the, one of the smallest prefectures but has the biggest population. It's one of those kind of city uh, prefectures. That's why it's called Tokyo to, to, Tokyo to instead of Ken, like most of the other prefectures. Uh, well, there's lots to say about Tokyo. Of course, it's the world's largest metropolitan area by population. Um, you have to count, it depends how you count it, but yeah, it's the biggest city area. It has the Imperial Palace, so the Emperor uh, lives in Tokyo. Uh, but it's not only Tokyo City, it also has uh, a collection of islands off to the south, which are the Izu and Ogasawara Islands, um, but they go under uh, Tokyo's jurisdiction. So lots of things to do in Tokyo, so yeah, but I think tourism has that covered. And uh, nearby Kanagawa Prefecture, which is uh, where Yokohama is, that's the, the second biggest city in Japan. And also has a nice uh, national park, Hakone Park, which is uh, very famous for, well, for hot springs and relaxation. Beautiful views, uh, you can see Mount Fuji, of course. And also there's that famous Hokusai print, you can see with the big, the big uh, tsunami. That's a uh, great wave of Kanagawa. So uh, yeah, that's where that is. Okay, let's move on to the Chubu region, which is kind of a center, especially mountainous region of uh, Japan. We can start with Niigata Prefecture, um, which is a bit more rural, but very big as well. You tend to see the bigger prefectures don't have so many people. Um, but this is uh, where koi carp come from, apparently. And uh, we also have a large island off the, off the north coast. That's the sixth biggest island of Japan, uh, Sado Island used to be famous for exiling people there who were kind of unwanted by the political system uh, but also gold mining was uh, popular there too and Niigata prefecture is the base for um, snow country one of a 
kind of big famous Japanese novels. Next is uh, Toyama Prefecture. Uh, this ha also has the tallest waterfalls in Japan. Tallest by total height, although there are a few different drops. Uh, that's uh, Shomyo uh, waterfalls. So go and see those if you can. 30% of the prefecture are national parks, so a very, very beautiful place too. Um, including Kurobe Dam, which is the biggest dam in, uh, in Japan, which is, yeah, it's damn good. So please check it out. Next to Ishikawa Prefecture on the north coast, um, famous for one of the most beautiful gardens in Japan, Kendokuen. Uh, you can see that in the picture. They, they get a lot of snow, so they have to hold up the pine trees with these kind of uh, these special ropes. Apparently this is where body sushi comes from. <laughs> sushi served on some, some uh, person's body. Um, I've never actually seen that in my life, but uh, I've seen it on TV. And uh, gold leaf is a common export from there as well. So there's a lot of money in, in those hills. Next is uh, Fukui Prefecture, one of the least populated in Japan. Uh, famous for dinosaurs of all things, uh, so there is a very good dinosaur museum there. I really check, uh, recommend you checking it out. And uh, kind of interesting, I think it's granite cliffs called Tojimbo. Um, apparently famous for people jumping off them and dying, but uh, also famous for sightseeing, so please enjoy. And enjoy some crabs while you're there, uh, the, the food, please enjoy the seafood, <laughs> especially in winter, it's a good season. Okay, going back down south to Yamanashi Prefecture. Uh, this is one of the prefectures that shares a border with, um, with Mount Fuji. Uh, so you can see Mount Fuji there. There are some lakes there, Fuji Five Lakes, Fuji Goko, and Fuji Q Highlands, which is the amusement park ne right next to Mount Fuji. So you can see, with, see the roller coasters with really nice uh, background. Okay. Nagano Prefecture is famous for winter sports, especially skiing, snowboarding, and of course we had the Winter Olympics uh, back in the day. If you've ever seen the monkeys in the hot springs, this is where it is. Um, that's uh, where you can see those. And the people who live in Nagano Prefecture have the longest lifespan in Japan, so must be something good about the mountain air. Next, let's go west to Gifu Prefecture. It's known as the crossroads of Japan. A lot of um, common trade routes go through there. And uh, yeah, we can see Shirakawa-go, which is a kind of world heritage traditional village. You can see with these uh, slope roofs, it's really beautiful. And anime fans, if you like uh, your name or Kimi no Nawa, you can see the model model town. Um, what's it called? Hira Hira Fudokawa City. So please enjoy the locations there. Uh, now back down south to Shizuoka Prefecture. Uh, of course, this shares a uh, border with Mount Fuji as well. You can see in the flag, they've got the big uh, mountain there. And also the Izu Peninsula, which is famous for hot springs and beautiful scenery. You can see that lovely, uh, I don't know what that is, uh, in the picture. And finally, we've got Aichi Prefecture, which is the kind of industrial hub of Japan, especially for the car industry. Um, to Toyota even has its own city, Toyota City. That's uh, famous in Aichi, so a big manufacturing hub. And you can see Nagoya Castle there as well, which is a really beautiful one. Okay, let's move on to Kansai, which is where I am now. Um, starting with Mie Prefecture, which is uh, famous for Issei Shrine, one of the big shrines in Japan. And it's really beautiful, so please visit there. For uh, Formula One and uh, kind of motocross uh, fans, then Suzuka Circuit is in Mie Prefecture. Also famous for pearl diving, so you get the special pearl ladies who dive down and get the get the pearls. Uh, Shiga Prefecture, uh, you can see from the map, there's a big hole in the middle. That's Lake Biwa. That's uh, the biggest lake in Japan, and uh, a lot of uh, <laughs> national parks there too. I suppose uh, Lake Biwa takes care of most of that. But well, more than a third, I think that's the most in Japan, is national parks. So please visit uh, Biwa. Now Kyoto Prefecture, it's not only prefecture, uh, not only Kyoto City, but um, of course there's a lot of things to see in Kyoto Prefecture, I could do a whole video on that. But that's the former capital of Japan for about a thousand years, and as such is the kind of cultural centre. And it has one of the top three views. We had uh, Matsushima before, now we have uh, Amano Hashitate, which is the kind of sandbar you can see in the picture, which you can walk all the way along. And uh, yeah, really beautiful scene. Of course, Kyoto City is beautiful too, so yeah, tourists love to come there. 
and Osaka Prefecture. Uh, it's one of the smallest, actually, but very dense. Um, as I said with, uh, well, actually, go back to Kyoto Prefecture, that's Osaka, uh, Kyoto Fu. Osaka Fu is also a special prefecture, which is like a, uh, city prefecture. Um, so it has a kind of special, special rules that apply to it. Uh, it's called the Kitchen of Japan. A lot of uh, famous food comes from Osaka. It also has the largest Korean population, so there's a kind of Korean town there too. And uh, we'll be the host of the 2025 uh, World Expo, um, so I'm gonna hopefully enjoy that soon. So there's Osaka Castle too, that's um, one of the treasures of Osaka. Uh, Hyogo Prefecture, I think that's uh, one of our last ones. We've got uh, one of the biggest ones in Kansai, but also we've got Awaji Shima, Awaji Island in the middle, which is uh, branching off down to Shikoku. Kobe beef uh, is popular there because uh, Kobe is in Hyogo Prefecture. Another one of the famous night views, uh, Mount Rocco, which is really beautiful. And my favorite castle in Japan, which is Himeji, uh, Himeji Castle, the White Castle. Please enjoy that one too. Uh, now, if you watched my video last week, you can see Nara Prefecture. Actually, before Kyoto was the capital, then Nara was uh, Japan's capital. And it has the most UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Uh, if you know anything about Japan, uh, UNESCO World Heritage Sites are one of their <laughs> big passions. You can find a lot there. And you can meet the deer of Nara City as well. You can see them very cute, but be careful when you're feeding them. And to the south, we've got Wakayama Prefecture, which is, um, well, you can imagine, a lot of mountains. Yama means mountain. Um, it has, oh, no, sorry. The tallest single waterfall is not in uh, Tochi Prefecture, it's in Wakayama. So, uh, oh, what's it called? Um, Nachi, Nachi Waterfall is in Wakayama. Uh, Koyasa, which is a very famous temple. You can take the cable car up there. Please enjoy that, it's really nice. And Studio Ghibli fans can go to the real Laputa, which is um, Tomogoshima Island. Uh, you can see kind of abandoned military base um, and uh, kind of feel like the old, old Laputa model. Okay, let's move on to Chugoku re region, which is um, off to the west. And we can start with Totori Prefecture, which is one of the smallest and also the least populated in Japan. Uh, famous for the sand dunes, which are um, <laughs> by the sea. So it's the only big sand dune system in Japan. I don't know why they're even existing, but uh, it's a very interesting place to visit. You can ride a camel, even though they're not native to Japan. And they're a big agricultural exporter. Um, so lots of vegetables and fruit come from Totori. Uh, Shima Lake Prefecture, another one of the least populated, but um, historically very important. It has a Izumo Taisha, Izumo Shrine. You can see that in the picture. And was famous for silver mining too. Uh, Okayama Prefecture, kind of a central one. Um, famous spot is Kurashiki, which is uh, has the nice canals, kind of the Venice of Jubu area. And uh, it also shares uh, Naoshima Art Island. I'll show you a bit more about that later. And is the home of Momotaro, if you know anything about Japanese folklore, then uh, Momotaro, the, the boy who was born from the peach, uh, that comes from Okayama. And Hiroshima Prefecture, another famous one, kind of the industrial heart of uh, Chugoku region. Of course, famous for the uh, atomic bomb uh, attacks in the uh, Second World War. And there's a very interesting museum there and the remains of the city hall, which is the atomic bomb dome. So please check that out. Uh, but on a happy note, it has another one of the top three views of Japan. So this is our third one. This is uh, Tsukushima Shrine. You can see the Tori Gate out in the sea. So uh, definitely visit that. It's really beautiful. You can see deer there as well. Now, last one, Yamaguchi Prefecture off in the west. Um, it's kind of the bridge over to uh, Kyushu Island. Uh, it's famous for Kintaikyo, which you can see in the picture, this interesting bridge. And also the uh, limestone cave, which is supposedly the longest in Japan. So please, uh, please check that out if you want to go underground. Okay, can hear the sirens. And uh, okay, move on to Shikoku region, which is the um, smallest and least populated region of Japan, uh, but still beautiful. Okay, we can start with Tokushima, which has the Naruto whirlpools. You can see the uh, suspension bridge going off to Awaji Island. Uh, but you can see these big whirlpools, one of the biggest in the world. You can even take a boat and go right down there. 
and also the uh, Awa Odori Festival. You can go and enjoy the dancing there. That's a famous festival in summer. Okay, Kagawa Prefecture is actually the smallest physically um, prefecture in Japan. Uh, famous for Sanuki, Sanuki Udon, which is uh, Udon noodles. So that's a famous export. And also shares Naoshima Art Island. You can see the big kind of pumpkin sculpture. It's a really interesting place. You can see sculptures all over it. And if you're interested in the Battle Royale uh, movie where all the high school students have to kill each other, um, people say that's what Hunger Games was based on. That comes from Kagawa Prefecture. But uh, it's a lot safer than it sees in, seems in the movies. Okay, Ehime Prefecture, um, famous for Dogo Onsen, which is uh, notably the model for uh, Spirited Away, the Ghibli movie. Uh, also, Shimanami Kaido, which is the kind of set of bridges over islands that run off onto Hiroshima Prefecture. It's famous for cyclists, they can, they can go all the way across, uh, across the sea like that. Also has several uh, original castles. Many of the Japanese castles burned down at some point or another, um, but I think Ehime has a few of the, the a few of the limited number of original ones. And finally, Kochi Prefecture is uh, one of the biggest in well, it is the biggest in Shikoku. Uh, famous for another original castle, Kochi Castle, and also for uh, Katsuo Tataki, which is a really delicious uh, tuna. It's kind of braised tuna. Um, smells delicious, definitely try it if you have a chance. And our final region is Kyushu, off in the south. Um, often has uh, typhoons and heavy rain, so please don't come in rainy season. Um, <laughs> or you can, but at your peril. Starting with the uh, biggest part, which is Fukuoka Prefecture. Oh, kind of uh, biggest by population anyway. So that's kind of the economic centre of Kyushu. Uh, and of course, that's the kind of the bridge to the mainland. If you like ramen, you might enjoy tonkotsu ramen, which is made from pork bones. That's a signature dish of uh, Fukuoka. And if you come at the right time, you can see the uh, at night time the yatai food stands, so you can enjoy street food there a lot. Uh, Saga Prefecture, again one of the kind of minor prefectures, but famous for porcelain and pottery uh, and mochi rice. So if you ever had that kind of mochi rice cake there's a good chance the rice came from Saga. And they have a hot air balloon festival every year, so you can see that in the picture. Very beautiful. So go to Saga. Now, Nagasaki is kind of a big tourist uh, destination in Kyushu. Um, it has a long history of uh, trade. When, when Japan was locked down for quite a long time, the only contact with the outside world was through uh, Dejima port in Nagasaki. Uh, so there's a lot of interesting history and uh, kind of European feeling buildings too. You can also see Gunkanjima Mining Island. Uh, if you've watched, um, oh, which movie was it? Skyfall, I think the James Bond film. I think that was one of the locations of the filming or the exterior anyway. And there's also another uh, atomic bomb memorial museum there. So please check that out if you visit. Then Kumamoto, which is uh, I think one of the biggest in, uh, in Kyushu. Um, has a, the largest active volcano, that's Mount Aso, uh, which you can visit. Kumamoto Castle as well, which is currently under repair after a big earthquake about five years ago. And you might know Kumamon, he's the uh, lovable mascot of uh, Kumamoto Prefecture. You can see him there, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Oita Prefecture, famous for hot springs, especially Beppu. It's um, got ferry connections with Osaka as well, so it's uh, famous for that. And you can try a sand bath if you go there. So on the hot sand, you can get buried up. It's kind of relaxing, apparently. Uh, Miyazaki Prefecture is uh, another rural one, but uh, it has the Takachiho Gorge, which you can uh, you can visit there. Really beautiful, but I haven't been yet. You can go on a little kayak through through the through the gorge. They also have uh, Moai statues, like East Island. I don't know why they do that, <laughs> but you can also visit Aoshima, which I did go to and see the ogre's washboard, which is a lot of really strange um, rock formations on the beach. Um, and you can, when the tide's out, you can walk onto Aoshima and uh, enjoy the scenery. Okay, almost there, we've got Kagoshima Prefecture, um, which is a pretty large one. It has a lot of islands as well off, off the south coast. 
also includes Sakurajima, uh, which used to be an island, but it's a very active volcano, the most active in Japan, and the lava flows have actually connected it to the mainland again. There's also another island, uh, Ta uh, Tanegashima launch base for the Japanese Space Agency, so if you really want to see rockets being launched, you can go there. And also another world heritage, Yakushima, has some really ancient forests there, so you can, you can go hiking if you want to. And last but not least, Okinawa Prefecture. Um, that includes, the main island includes the, the fifth largest island in Japan, uh, home to the uh, indigenous uh, Ryukyu culture. So you hear a lot of special Okinawa culture, music and food. And uh, there's also a US military base, which is a bit controversial um, to some of the residents. Um, and also uh, a lot of islands off the, off the south. You can't see them on here, but they do stretch off to the south too. A lot of gorgeous food there as well. Okay, great. I think I finished. So, whew, please come to Japan. Enjoy the whole the whole lot. <laughs> it's going to take a long time to visit every prefecture, uh, but please enjoy uh, what you can see from the Tokyo Olympics starting soon. Okay, thanks for listening. Whew, okay, thank you for your attention. That was no way it was that under 15 minutes, but um, I tried my best. Like I said, I'm just uh, scratching the surface of Japan. There's so much more to see. Uh, interesting historical places, interesting places for uh, you know the futuristic technology, games, anime, uh, food, um, sightseeing, it's all there. Uh, so please ask me any questions, I'll try and help you. Uh, but please visit Japan as soon as we open up again and please enjoy the Olympics coming soon. Um, like I said, that's uh, there's plenty more to see and uh, I hope to show you more in the future. I'm hoping to visit every prefecture. I've almost done it. I'm, I'm on, the, on the final stretch. So maybe I'll do another video of my travels in Japan uh, once I've finished. Uh, but for now, thank you very much uh, for your attention. If you want any more kind of presentation style videos like this, please make a request. I'm all ears. Please, uh, please tell me. Uh, I'll see what I can do. So until next time, please subscribe, like, comment, do everything you can. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.